his first. Thank you so much, Kathy. Of course, it's a big week here in South African football. It's Cup Week as the MTN 8 final heads to Orlando Stadium. It is Super Sports United. They've been to this particular final uh, in uh, two previous seasons. This is their third in a row and they're meeting Highlands Park there who are somewhat surprised finalists but I'll tell you more about it in just a second. The current group of players at Highlands Park are on the brink of history. They could become the first generation that claims the Lions of the North's first trophy in the PSL era. For those who've been there long enough as uh, the soldiers there at Highlands Park, this is one of their biggest weeks. Newsroom Africa's Minen Kehela tells us more. Highlands Park are in cloud nine after reaching their first ever cup final in the PSL era. Midfielder Motobi Mvala has been with the club since 2013 and knows how historic this moment is of reaching the MTN 8 final, especially with the club having gone through their ups and downs in top flight football. Asia Hotman, uh, it's a very spe uh, special moment to me because I've been with the team since 2013, since from Vodacom, got promoted and FD, PSL, relegated and PSL up and now I'm here in the final of the MT8. It's a very special moment to me. My first time participating in this tournament and now um, I'm in the final and um, I think I'm going to be more happier if, 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 if we, we win it, you know, Hotman. And yeah, 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 it's just going to be a special moment to me. Internally, coach Owen de Gama is being credited as the brains that has led the Lions of the North to earn their first spot in a final and a good start to the APSA Premiership, where they're currently in fifth place. To some, we, we, we're not playing good football, but uh, I think it also depends on how you view it. But uh, for us, I think we're playing good football. I think we enjoy this game and uh, we work very hard. The culture of Highlands Park, obviously, is working hard and uh, so far it's working for us. We just need to be consistent and be humble about it. If you look at Highlands Park's history in the PSL era, reaching the MTN 8 final is undoubtedly their biggest achievement thus far. But the club is not trying to get too excited, rather focusing on how they can break down Supersport United at Orlando Stadium on Saturday. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I am Inet Lachela in Johannesburg. All right, then uh, that's the story of what will be happening this coming Saturday at the Orlando Stadium. Highlands Park aiming to make history and Supersport really wanting to erase those memories of losing to Cape Town City last year, having won it in 2017. So a couple of gentlemen here alongside me, starting on that far side, Rodney Ramaji, how are you? Madekwana, what are Ah, thank you so much for, for, for being with us here this evening, Rodney. You've got a, 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 in, an interesting story to tell <laughs> in terms of how you landed up at Highlands Park. But let me first introduce Bradley Krobler, who's also here with us. Bradley is one of those players who found the back of the net on a regular basis this season. Bradley, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Okay, so it's a big one. I don't know if it's as big enough for you guys as it is for Highlands Park? I don't think so. I think it's massive for us. I think you know, after the disappointment of last year, losing on penalties, we were extremely disappointed, still hurting still today. So it's a massive game for us. It's a, it's a nice way to get the league start. I think yeah. you know, both teams have worked extremely hard to get to the final. And I think as we all know, it's, it's winner take all, takes mm. all. So... We don't want to get there and, you know, both teams don't want to lose in the final and you go home empty-handed and it's almost like you played an extra four friendly mm. games. So I think both teams want to win. We're delighted to be back there and, and hopefully we'll, we'll walk away victorious this time. And just that fact that this is your third in a row, Bradley. I mean, it, it must be something at Super Sports United that you, you've discussed that you want to make it your own. This is something that you, you're known of, although the, the other uh, uh, cup, the, the, the bank cup, is also <laughs> something that you, you've uh, monopolized in recent years. Yeah, I think, first of all, I think it goes back to the club. I think the club's extremely ambitious. We want to win everything we play for, um, whether it's MTN, the other cups, the league. 
you know, we want to win everything and we want to win the MTN8, but we also understand the, you know, the bad luck that comes with winning yeah. the MTN8. You know, if you look at the last few years, teams who have won the MTN8 have not gone on to do extremely well. So we want to, we want to turn that around. We want to yeah. win this cup and we want to have a really good season. I think it's been disappointing, you know, the last few seasons, although we've done extremely well in the cups, we just haven't been good enough in the league. And the league is our main focus yeah. this year. But it'll be a nice way to, to begin with a cup. And I think we owe it to the coach. You know, the coach has done, done an extremely good job coming in at a difficult time last year. And, you know, he's got the team, you know, really in a good space again. Yeah. We, we're enjoying ourselves. I mean, not just on yeah. the field. If you come and look at the, the vibe in the team off the field, you yeah. know, it's, it's such a nice club to be a part of at the moment. And I think it would be nice to, for us to give, the coach, to give the coach his first trophy as a, as a head coach. Mm. I will come back to talk to talk about that, particularly Caetano Tembo, because you this is a point that you've stayed on this week, Bradley. We were there at your training ground yesterday and you 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 spoke about doing it for the coach yet again. Let me come to you, uh, uh, Ramaji. You came to Highlands Park under somewhat of a cloud from Polokwane City, and you were banging in the goals there and some were even talking about a national call-up being on the horizon. That hasn't happened. We'll discuss that in just a short while. But how have you found uh, your, your, your stay at Highlands Park thus far? It's not been easy for me since I've joined Highlands Park. Uh, as you know, I lost my daughter in August. Oh, sorry and to hear uh, that. It's, uh, no, it's okay. And uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, a difficult, uh, it's a difficult time for me. I'm, I'm still trying to, to get back. I'm not yet back, mm. but I believe with time it will get better and I'll get used to Highlands Park and I'll start working for, for them. Mm. Yes. And how are you gelling in with some of the players that are there? I, I, I know um, Peter Shalulile is, is, is the hot name at the team at the moment and as a striker, Surely you want to be among the goals as well. How has it been your, your, your partnership, be it at training or in match situations with uh, your, your strike partners? Uh, it's something we were working on and I will keep on working on, uh, on it until we get it right. And I believe we'll soon we'll get it right. Mm. Bradley, so Caetano has been with Supersport for a long time as both a player and uh, uh, now as a coach, assistant and coach, and he's seen many things happen. Why is it so important for you guys, particularly for, for, for him to win this trophy? Yeah, I think, you know, he's been there for an extremely long time, like you said, and I've been fortunate enough to be at the club as well for a good six years or mm. so now. And it's amazing how much I've seen him grow as a person, as a coach over those years. Um, you know, working through all the different coaches we've been through in these few years and how he's adapted and learned from different coaches and learned the rights and the wrongs. And yeah. I mean, nobody's perfect. Nobody learns everything, what's right and what's wrong. But he's done extremely well. He's learned the right things. And yeah, just talking about him now being the head coach of the team, which, which is a difficult job. I think at Supersport, it's difficult because we're always expected to win things. So it's never easy. And I think... Like I say, if you just look at what he's done for the team off the field, you know, players are happy, players are yeah. enjoying themselves yeah. again, which for me is, is, as a player, is vitally important. Mm. If you're not enjoying yourself, you're not confident, you're never going to be as good as you, you really can be. And for the team, he's done that. And for myself, I mean, he's, he's been incredibly good with me, you know, with all the injuries I've had, the frustrating few seasons I've had, you know, he's been very understanding, he's... He's looked after me, he's helped me where he can. Yeah. He's managed me very well and he's done that with the team as well. So from my side, I owe him a lot and I think the club and the players owe him a lot as well. Yeah. So I think this would be a nice, a nice way to, to start the season. I think we've, we've started fairly well and, and this will just be something to, for us to you know, kick on now and, and, and do well in the league. Mm. And when you, when you talk about his relation with the players, his relations with the players, he, the, the player that has just come into the team now, Tamsang Nagabuza, he's the leading goal scorer in, in this particular competition, uh, the MTN8. And you have 
somewhat formed a devastating partnership with him, something that a lot of people didn't expect. What would you say has been uh, um, his, his attitude at the, the club since arriving and, and you having to guide him? Yeah, I, you know, it's a good question. Um, you know, beginning of the season, you know, I got a phone call from our CEO, Stan Matthews, to mm. say that they're really considering bringing him to the club. And, you know, I didn't hesitate. I said to him straight away, if you're looking for a guy, he's the guy to get. I've always, as a Why player... Why did you specifically think he... I've always, as a player, really enjoyed watching him. You know, as a striker, I understand that people expect a striker to score goals mm. week in, week out. And it's not always the case. I think when you got him, you got a, a target man. You got somebody who will work hard for your team. I don't think there's many players that will work harder than him. And he's chipping in with goals. Yeah. But not only being top goal scorer in the MTN8, I think he's probably got the most assists as well. I think he's got yeah. three assists as well. So it's not just, I know he's going to miss. I think everyone knows he will miss. And yeah. at training, he misses. But I think Supersport's a very, a very family orientated yeah. club. And, you know, when he misses that training, somebody will give him the ball again and say, shoot again. And I think you can see his confidence is as high as it can go. And, yeah, I think he's a great player. He's a great player on the field, but he's just as good in the change room. He's, he's a great guy to have around. He's, he's just happy. He's singing. He's always making people laugh. So on and off the field, he just fits into the team very nicely. It's funny you mentioned that, Bradley, because... Well, in the media, we've always known Tamsang Nagabuza to be that one who starts the songs in the change rooms and in the tunnel. Well, we're going to be taking a short break and continue with these two gentlemen here. And I want to uh, ask Rodney Ramaji about how a club that got promoted last season finished seventh in the top league of South African football and now in the final for their first trophy coming up this Saturday. So... Please dwell on that, think about that. You'll answer that when we come back. We're taking a short break. I'm with Bradley Hrobler as well as Rodney Ramagalera. We're talking MTN8. We'll be back after this.